quantification of theta probe data is often performed using Schofield cross sections to adjust peak intensities for the fundamental process of photoemission. In addition, we have a correction that is based on the transmission of the instrument, which varies as a function of the kinetic energy. So as the kinetic energy increases, the expected signal decreases in this example. And in addition, you have for the photo emission of electrons, the signal is attenuated by the surface and the attenuation is a function of the kinetic energy. The faster the electrons, the deeper within the sample the electrons emerge. And so we have to do a correction that this gold 4F peak is representative of electrons that are coming from deeper in the sample than this gold 4S peak. And this is accounted for using an exponent of minus 0.6 and when this is applied and we look at a quantification table based on regions we obtain a quantification table in terms of in this case it's not atomic concentration it's the percent area of these normalized peaks with respect to the sensitivity factors Schofield cross sections the transmission, which is indicated by this tick box here that says automatic, that means that the transmission is in, involved in this quantification table, and we have an escape depth of minus 0.6. If we set the escape depth to zero, well that's the exponent that's set to zero, and I press update, you can see that the correction accounts for the fact that the escape depth and the number of electrons for this gold 4s will fundamentally be fewer than the 4f simply because of this escape depth correction hence the importance of using an escape depth correction and to enter an escape depth correction you enter a value and then you have to press the update button before this table is updated now the whole file will be corrected on the basis of the minus 0.6 correction for the escape depth and these are a range of different goal measurements all corrected in the same way and the variation that you see in the percent area is due to just different measurements and noise within the data there is another method for correcting data of this form and this involves using a slightly improved form of the escape depth correction that can be included in the RSFs and there's a, a more complex functional form than simply the kinetic energy raised to a power that has been used to calculate relative sensitivity factors that are corrected for escape depth and when this is performed we end up with a, an atomic concentration calculation in this case actually percent area I'll just propagate this to the other blocks in this list so we're looking at a, the same data but this time quantified using the escape depth corrected RSFs rather than the raw Schofield and the first order approximation of energy raised to the minus 0.6.